Hey guys, it's Blase, and today we're just gonna be doing a leaderboard check. Checking out this guy, he has a triple dust team. It looks like it's doing pretty well, obviously doing pretty well. It's number one spot. So we're just gonna see how he's doing it, how his gameplay is, price of the team if you wanna try to get it yourself. I know Battles V3 is gonna be coming around the corner, so kind of not smart to buy an exact copy of the team, but it's good to see how the number one guy is thinking and how he's playing his cards. So maybe you can implement that in your gameplay and try to push for the latest the season now so without further ado let's just get into it so as we can see here we have a triple dust team he has um some weird stuff going on here let's uh go ahead and go into it so we have a sandal goda scaly cattail team so he's just doing all these lunge cards which are still gonna pretty much be the same for battles v3 as long as you're chaining the lunges so this team i think would still be viable especially because sandal uh is not going to be changing either it's still the same uh goda is gonna i think goda has a banish on it maybe it's the only like major major difference so he's running two of the same cards here so two of the exact same and then he has a scaly which is going to be a little bit faster yep 42 speed and 42 speed so he's running for the back line, got the Scaly Spear a little bit to just destroy the Aquas. Actually, this is interesting. So you have the Scaly Spear, and then you have the Why So Serious, and then the Lunge, obviously, and then a little bit of Energy Steal. As you can see here, we have some Energy Destroy, and then more Energy Destroy for the second one because it's just a copy, but there's not much Energy Gain on this team. I find that really interesting. The only real Energy Gain that you have is the Rice and then just waiting so i don't know that's pretty interesting anyways let's try to get into a battle and see how we'll just do uh three battles and then we'll just see how good this team is okay so as we see here he's taking those hits some energy steal but he didn't nearly have anything always gonna set up with the spike wing and then just do the lunge but the lunge doesn't do any extra damage because he's not pairing it up but he still uses it though still uses the lunge even though he doesn't pair it up some nemo going gain some energy the opposing side this is the opposing team has a um the standard arco midline with the clamshell and the piranha spiky wing the minute you destroy nice Okay, anticipating a hit with the uh, cattail. Always with the setup on the spiky wing. And then doing a double arc up here. And will that be enough? And it's not enough to take him out. So how does he come up right here? Cool, so they gain energy perfectly, and then no wasting the turn on that kill. And then he got the spiky wing, lead it in, stole some energy, but he's gonna have four energy and he has the speed up. I think it's because he's going up on a duck. And now this duck is this dust is gonna heal and steal energy on this turn. So if you're going up against an aqua on the last turn, you're gonna you're gonna destroy. There's nothing you can do about it. The thing is, he can't get by all of this shield, and then the HP is too much. And then the aqua cards on trying to hit this dusk, even though he has a spiky wing. Maybe if you'd have done the four, like two piranhas and then two koi's or two clamshells, just to get that damage in. Let's get to uh, game number two. Okay, okay. let's pause it let's do some analyzing here coming out with the sandal and then you got the sandal goto right here so really just trying to knock out as much damage he's not any energy at all going straight damage um and he's just gonna he's gonna give the opponent the opponent played the cattail perfectly uh he's gonna get three extra draws on this turn so we can see this this kind of comp definitely is a hold your cards and pray comp like hold cards and wait for the right setup. That's not what he's doing here. Going for the lunge. 
And typically what I would think to do would be always wait for the lunge setup. But it's appears he really doesn't try to do that that much. Who would think he do? And he's gonna have a lot of on this comp just because of all the dust as well. So when you're going up against Aqua, it's pretty much a win. I really want to see him go up against uh, some beats. Because these Aqua is trying to do work on the dust that's just not working. As we can see, they just destroyed one of those in there. got four energy here. Boom. And see, all these Aqua cards, a lot of damage, but they get minimized by the desk body. He doesn't have any energy to steal. And that's right. Lunge. Lunge does a lot of damage, though. Give it to him. Lunge has a 50 sh So a lot of damage and a lot of fuel. Nice. And now this is already a GG. Because he can't go up against the Why So series. Hey, pretty good. He just can't go up against it. That's absolutely insane. On to number three. Now for this match, he didn't really have any losses. I couldn't find any losses for you guys. However, I did find one with a beast. Um, so I just wanted to see how he works his way against the beast since the beast should be just wrecking all of us. Nothing to steal on this turn. He, every single, like, he doesn't save any cards with his. He, because of the godas, I'm assuming. The godas and the steals, he doesn't want to try to go up against any of them. Nice, the cattail. Just always dishing out all as much damage as he can. The tower is there, gained some energy, had some damage reduction with the wall gecko. Nice, that was a good play. And he's gonna steal some energy here. He was anticipating that hit there. The lunge is gonna go straight through there. Oh my God, at the nasty crit. The fact is he just hasn't, he doesn't have enough energy. He only has two energy. And they're, they're getting crit on spiky wings is the other issue. So just not, also he's faster. So spiky wing, it's... So I think if the beast would have retained that, I think if the beast would have retained some energy, he probably could have pushed through. Would have been the only hit for that. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into the pricing. If you wanted to buy this team, let's check it out. So, all right, guys, I've just pulled it up. Now, there is a couple, there's 24 of these axes in the market. And as you can see here, there's a um, $206 floor price that they're going for. Let's go ahead and step in here and check this out. Goda, Sandal, Scaly Spear, and Cattail. So you need two of these. Right, so these are be this would be both your front lines right here. Uh, as you can see, the breeds are kind of high. They're uh, trying to build out this meta, so these will be a little bit cheaper, but they won't be cheaper in time for the season to end. So you'll be playing probably if you buy these, you'll be playing them in the off season. But as you can see, four hundred and forty dollars is where you're at right here. Now, if we find the back line, so yeah, guys, if you're looking for the back line, you can't even find it. Uh, super rare, spiky wings, scaly spear, rice, and why so serious? Not even on the market. Um, let's see if there is any not for sale there. 
I mean, there's obviously some not. So let's check it out. There's only one. Literally the only guy. <laughs> there's only one. You would have to get the number one guy to sell his. That's absolutely insane. Only one Axie like this on the marketplace. <laughs> so even if you guys wanted to, you really couldn't copy this build. That's just how it goes. You, I mean, you, you're gonna have to breed it, but it's not possible. So yeah, guys, that, that was the makeup of that build. If you wanted to build it, you can't even copy it. You could get, you could do like a version of it. Uh, so the, your front line, the cheapest that you could get from the floor right now, $440, way too expensive. You could buy like five, 20 plus, 22 floor axes right now at $21 instead of buying this team. <laughs> and then maybe position yourself a little bit better for battles v3 uh however that's what you're looking at and this guy so it's essentially priceless there's only one of these back lines on the market but you can do a variation of that and I, i'm assuming you could find one pretty cheap yep so right here we have two on the market there's a zero breed right here so you could snatch this up and you could breed it but you're not going to be in time for the season end because the season ends in two days uh probably on the 21st and this, this is like kind of all over the place. This one's not too bad. So instead of why so serious, you end up getting tiny turtle for the stun, which could be a good setup uh, because you have the zero, zero cards. You could set that up with the spiky wing. That actually wouldn't be too bad. So you're running around 184. I would say if you got rid of the rice for no energy generation, you're at, what's the next viable one? I would say maybe this Dusk right here. This Dusk would allow you to go to the back line and it's gonna have the most HP because of the Cucumber Slice and the Rosa. I think this would be a pretty viable one, but you're running with two zero cards. But in Battles B3, that's not gonna be the case with these cards. But this is still a back line card. So you can go back line, do massive damage with the Scaly Spear. That's, uh, I would say look for something for the tail. Maybe this right here, Tiny Dino. There's a couple of options that you could replace for the back line. As we can see, you have a couple of options under $100, so you'd still be $540 for the team. Anyways, guys. So that was it for the video. If you like it, I'm gonna be doing more of these anyways, so. Yeah, so that was it. videos. Um, this team's gonna cost you about $540 if you try to just go with a baseline. You get the two front ends, um, the, the front liner and the mid liner, as well as like an impromptu back liner. If you wanted to buy it right now. <laughs> if you wanted to breed it, you're not gonna be able to breed it like directly. It's gonna take you a while to get down the chain just to get this. If you guys like the video, please hit the like uh, and subscribe button. We're trying to grow the channel as well. Uh, my Discord is in the description below, and we're also doing scholarships, and we're going to be doing contests and tournaments in the future. It's Blase Games and the Blase Syndicate for the actual Discord in itself. See you in the next video. Peace.